I used to dance, so I was always moving my body, but the brain education helped me kind of see how much the thinking was affecting my stomach. So I would have stomach problems and then headaches and then, and then really it was just kind of crippling. My name is Beatricia Brunn. I'm from Queens, New York, and I am the center manager of the Bronx Center in New York. Um, my mom started uh, with this practice of body and brain in 2000. We were in a really bad car accident and someone uh, recommended to, for her to try um, yoga and Tai Chi because um, physical therapy wasn't really kind of helping her. And then fast forward to six years later, she called me one day and said, I'm getting you a lifetime membership. <laughs> I started taking classes more. I would just kind of like dibble and dabble here and there. Um, and then I started my own practice. Uh, I learned um, a lot about brain education in the body and brain centers. Um, I did dance, so it wasn't really for my body, but more for like emotional wellness and balance. Um, and then I used to think a lot. I remember my first few classes in the centers where we would practice meditation and brain education. And the moment where it was the meditation part, I used to think, oh, quiet time to think. <laughs> and then after five minutes, what is this over? So it helped me a lot with like patience, um, with uh, quieting my mind, with really managing my uh, emotions and getting to know myself a little bit more deeply. Generally, if anything, first, I mentioned that I was I used to dance, so I was always moving my body, but the brain education helped me kind of see how much the thinking was affecting my stomach. So I would have stomach problems and then headaches and then, and then really it was just kind of crippling. So if anything, when I see that I'm overthinking, my body tells me. If I'm not aware of it, at least my body tells me. And then from there, I can do the training. I can do the movements, the tapping, the breathing, the running, the push-ups. I can do the movement to stop the thought and get energy circulating. And then I can use um, the meditation to just kind of clear my mind. Um, once I'm more present in the moment, I don't have as much thinking. So now I can appreciate thinking because then I know I'm not in the moment. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it, it's just helped in so many ways. With brain education, you primarily you're learning more about yourself and then when you can learn more about yourself then you can resonate or understand others more deeply so even through certain meditations that you're guided through you can begin to kind of also put yourself in that person's place and then look at life through their lens then you develop compassion through compassion, then you can understand other people, whether it's your loved one, but specifically maybe a mother-daughter relationship. If your mom was abusive, physically, um, you know, emotionally, then at least you can have some understanding. Okay, this is why she is the way that she is. And then from there, you can make a choice. You can, um, you know, I recommend at least opening up your heart and mind and then allowing that person to just be as they are because when it comes to you if you have specific issues that you're working through you would want someone to just allow you to be who you are until you figure it out so um, I would say if anything it'll help you to build compassion through compassion well first if anything it'll help you to know yourself second it will then help you to build compassion and then you can understand others and then you can just kind of hope and, and pray and keep meditating on that relationship being what you want it to be as opposed to what it is um, and then from there just trust try to trust um, and then see what happens because everything is a lesson anyway even if the person is rude to you or mean for your whole life there's a lesson in that too so it's just really accepting okay this is the cards I've been dealt and and this is how I'm gonna play them I think um, knowing myself through brain education has allowed me to love myself to love myself in in all ways to accept my body to accept the emotions that come in and out um, to accept my speed and rhythm of, of life and growth, to accept my choices, um, to feel that even though I'm not where I want to be yet, I'm very much capable of, of getting there as I keep moving forward. Um, it just allows me to be me in every way, shape, and form. 
and then it's a continued practice so even if i feel like okay this is where i am now <laughs> there's like oh okay i still have this to work on or I, I can still kind of tweak this and so it just allows you to just keep expanding some awareness or understanding of the self um, because it's not limited to what we think but um, it just keeps expanding to what we really are if i could talk to my old self i would tell my old self um, really keep training um, i would tell my old self there's so much that you are capable of doing and you just don't know it yet um, I would tell my old self there are levels of love that you have not even, you have no idea even exist yet. There's so much power within you that you haven't even touched or tasted yet. There's so much wisdom in your brain that you haven't even like seen yet. So I would say, please keep going. It's so worth it. Um, and I'm really, really, really rooting for you. If you have no kind of fan club behind you, I'm rooting for you from the future. Um, I can't wait to meet you and um, I love you. So if you're open to try brain education, you can find a body and brain center near you. If you live in the Bronx, if you work in the Bronx, if you wanna to get to know me a little bit deeper, come visit me at the Bronx Body and Brain Center. I'll put a link down below. Through your visit, we can uh, kind of go over maybe some specific things that you're uh, looking for. Um, and I can share maybe a little bit more deeply about my experience. And then I would love to kind of meet with you and work with you. Uh, so. Wherever you are in your journey, good luck. Um, try to find a body and brain center as quickly as you can. Uh, and then I hope my uh, interview was helpful to you.